Um, look, just talk me through what's going on here. What a gross story this is, Patrick, and a real story of our time. Um, I, I'm very upset about it, um, but can you imagine what it's like for his daughter, who was the victim of his abuse? So you've got this character, Clive Blundy, who abused his a daughter from the age of nine, um, for, or the age of eight, for nine years. He eventually got put in prison, 15 years sentence in 2016, and is due to be let out on parole um, only after serving seven years. Two years ago, uh, decided to transition, or, you know, said that had gender dysphoria. And, of course, the prison went out their way to supply uh, him, and I stress him, mm -hmm. Clive, mm -hmm. with makeup and a dress and so on. And the thing that's really horrible about all this is that mm -hmm. his daughter... Uh, Kerry Lee, uh, uh, Gavin, would not have known any of this um, had not the victim, liaison officer, told her eventually. Um, but Clive uh, Bundy is about mm. to get out of prison, live under the name of Claire Fox, his own daughter who he abused, and anyone else uh, would therefore have not know that Clive Bundy was out and about. Um, for people who are not related or don't know this story, which is why we need to tell this story, yeah. the thing is, is that now on uh, his driving licence and uh, on his birth certificate, it will say Claire Fox. And obviously this is a, a joke, but it, 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 it's an attempt at erasing and disguise his crimes, uh, disguising his heinous crimes, mm. and the Ministry of Justice say, oh, yeah, well, what can we do? You know, we can't misgender or, you know, go against the wishes of this transgender woman as we're now supposed to uh, behave. What a horrible situation. Look, look, it's absolutely disgusting, and you're completely, completely right to highlight that the big victim in all of this, quite literally, is uh, his daughter, who was suddenly uh, abused. But this is a symptomatic case of something we're going to see a lot more of, and it appears to be a clear and obvious loophole for absolute, complete and utter monsters like this chap to use and hurtle head first through and go, well, I'm going to change my name and get a new identity and start again. And you could end up... Let's say this guy decides he wants to be a painted decorator or something. And, you know, he's going to be going around to people's houses. They might have kids. I mean, it is just monstrous, isn't it? Well, yeah, because actually what happens is the Home Office will now use this name, right? So you've got a number of different things happening here. If you wanted to do a, 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 a you know, a check on this person, a police check, um you would have to check under Claire Fox. And you might be a bit surprised to find that Claire Fox either hasn't got a record or that actually Claire Foxes appear in the House of Lords, right? Yeah. <laughs> it might be. Um, um, but whatever. And so it's obviously completely confusing the whole situation. And But obviously well, it won't, what it won't show is that this person is a paedophile, you know, an incestuous paedophile who abuses his own daughter. And there's no trace of that now. It's eradicated. Um, I mean, you know, I've kind of tried to make light of this and joke at a mm. silly level, which is if Clive Bundy appears on social media as Claire Fox yeah. and thinks he's going to make his life easier, he might not realise how many trolls I've got and understand that I'm, he's actually likely to be under... I mean, it, it doesn't matter which on every few months, because there's a, a few other Claire Foxes who are genuinely ordinary Claire Foxes, and I always feel sorry for them that on occasion they get the, the, the nasty, you know, the FBPE people or mm -hmm. those kind of trans activists who absolutely hate me and think I'm a bigot uh, mm -hmm. going for him. That would be a moment of irony. But this is obviously an, a, a, an attempt at trolling as well. His daughter uh, actually believes that he's chosen my name as a kind of flagrant act of entering into the kind of trans activism, you know, as a kind of two fingers trolling to, to those of us who are gender critical and have tried to draw attention to the lunacy uh, that's going on in relation to people refusing in official positions like the Home Office, refusing to acknowledge there's a man. It's Clive yeah. Bundy. And, you know, one thing changing your name, changing your gender just as simply as that is not on. Oh, like I said before, you're right to identify, you know, the real victim in all of this is his daughter. But also it's the fact that now this guy can basically, in a sense, commit identity fraud and pose with your name, arguably deliberately, and you, well, you wouldn't be, but you get what I mean when you say are now, are now linked with this guy's an incestuous paedophile. I, I, 
I feel linked to it, Patrick. That's yeah. what's so horrible about it. I feel somehow implicated in this horrible, sordid story, right? I mean, you know, it means that when Clive Bundy, you know, if and I hope never, but, yeah. you know, is being let out early, does some terrible crime, but certainly the crimes that have been committed, my name is associated with it. It's an extremely unpleasant feeling, but I don't want to make this about me. I want to make it about the loophole. I really hope um, Lucy Allen is is the is is Carrie Ann, uh, the daughter's MP, and she's been doing some good work. That's where I first heard about it when Lucy Allen raised it in Parliament. I nearly have a heart attack, and it's just hit the press now. But Lucy Allen's been rightly campaigning around this, and I hope that the Home Office will actually really think this shows how ludicrous the system is. Yeah. Where we are, you know, because what will happen now yeah. is. I could well get into trouble for misgendering well, Clive today. Yeah, well, That's the sort of thing that will happen. It'll be me that will be accused of being the bigot. Yeah, look, Claire, thank you very much for...